you've got a killer soundtrack and beautiful heartthrobs quoting Shakespeare, you can't help but love more than 10 things about this cult classic. Burn, I pine, I perish. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments from 10 Things I Hate About You. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at the most notable, quotable, and memorable moments from this 90s phenomenon. Old rule out. New rule. Bianca can date. When she does. In case you haven't seen the film, consider this your spoiler alert. Number 10. Patrick encourages Cameron. After Cameron helps Michael get his revenge on Bogey Lowenstein... This is gonna be some party. ...the two anxiously get ready for the party. A planned occasion for Cameron to be alone with Bianca. Upon realizing that she only has eyes for Joey, Cameron is crushed and tells Patrick he wants to call the whole thing off. It's off, okay? The whole thing's off. What are you talking about? While trying to make him realize that he needs and deserves to go for what he wants, Patrick shows Cameron that he is the true suitor who belongs with Bianca. See, first of all, Joey is not half the man you are. Both boys have a swooning as we watch one confess his love, while the other comforts his new friend with a convincing pep talk. Number 9. Patrick buys Cat a guitar. What better way to say you're sorry to the girl you love than to strategically place a surprise instrument in the front seat of her car? Remember that guitar Patrick saw Cat playing in the music store? Well, he bought one that looked just like it as an apology for going out with her over a bet made with the one person she truly hated. You're gonna pay me to take out some chick. We can't help but gush over the thoughtful gift just as Kat does, as Patrick reveals his true feelings for her. A part of us hopes she'll eventually get the rest of the instruments Patrick has already thought about. Nice, huh? A Fender Strat? Number 8. Cat Flashes Coach Chapin after being put in detention for his musical breakout on the soccer field bleachers, we aren't as surprised to see Kat in the hall as Patrick is, as we anticipate her plan of action. Her attempts at a covert sneakout are tested as she tries to keep Coach Chapin's attention while Patrick makes his way from his seat to the window. When she realizes her plan for the upcoming soccer game isn't a working distraction... Um, sir, I have some ideas on how we can improve the girls' soccer team. Kat goes in for the kill and flashes her coach. Her quick thinking allows for a successful escape, all the while giving the students and Chapin quite the show. Okay, but how do we get him to look like? Um, like this! <laughs> Number 7. Cameron calls out Bianca's selfishness. After Lowenstein's party, Bianca is blown off by Joey and Chastity due to her early curfew. Oh man, I can't. Damn, that's a shame and asks Cameron if he would drive her home. Hey Cameron, um, do you think you could give me a ride home? Despite his mixed feelings after his pep talk with Patrick, Cameron agrees, and once stopped in front of her house, finally releases his suppressed feelings. Bianca is left shocked as Cameron calls her out on her selfish behavior. Have you always been this selfish? Naming lies she's told him and her mistreatment of him. Upon realizing the depths to which she's gone to make her happy, Bianca cuts him off to plant a kiss on his rambling lips. And then you just blow me off so that you can... She leaves him to sit in the car, admitting his renewed commitment to her. And um, back in the game. <laughs> Number 6. Miss Perky writing her novel. Before Anastasia and Christian, there was Adrian and Reginald. I'll let you get back to Reginald's quivering member. Miss Perky's innocent exterior can be deceiving, as her pearls and glasses are a front for the steamy writing on her laptop. To say her guidance counseling is a little unconventional would be an understatement, as we watch her give the students the finger upon meeting Cameron and look down in Patrick's genital area. Kat is also subjected to her counseling, as she is made aware of what other students think of her. Miss Perky's bluntness is inappropriate in all the right ways, making her scenes extremely memorable. People perceive you as somewhat Tempestuous? Heinous bitch is the term used most often. Number 5. Patrick takes care of Cat. To everyone's surprise, including Cat's, a table dance was on the menu at Bogey Lowenstein's party. While swaying her hips to Notorious B.I.G.'s Hypnotize, Cat hits her head on the chandelier, only to be caught by Patrick before falling to the ground. In attempts to keep her awake, Patrick walks Cat to the swings where she can sit and rest in her drunken state. Her feistiness and his patience with her come through as he tries to take care of her, revealing their incredibly authentic connection. Your eyes have a little green in them. Just when we thought we couldn't get enough of their chemistry, Patrick lovingly puts his hand on her head after she tosses her cookies right in front of him. 
Number 4. Bianca Punches Joey Padua High's prom was definitely the place to be for the fashion, the music, and especially the impromptu fistfight. Stop. Turn. Explain. Upon arriving to Bianca's house to discover she isn't there, Joey makes his way to school on a crusade to make Michael and Cameron pay for their deceitful role in his plans. The shit hath hit it the fan. After throwing Michael to the ground and punching Cameron, Joey gets a taste of his own medicine when Bianca's fist and knee meet his nose and groin. Her repeated blows to rectify the mistreatment of Kat, Cameron, and herself send the model to the floor moaning. By picking up Cameron off the ground, we happily watch as Bianca finally chooses Cameron over Joey. Number 3. Kat and Patrick Go Paintballing After a successful detention breakout, Patrick and Kat celebrate their freedom with a paddleboat ride, gliding over the water as they get to know each other. I don't like to do what people expect. Upon spotting a paintball field, the Australian native suggests he and Kat take a stab at it. We can't help but be jealous of their incredibly fun date as we watch them run around obstacles trying to get their paint bags on their target. However, it's the climactic moment of the scene that truly leaves us envious of Kat, as she's tackled to the ground and Patrick initiates their first kiss as they sit in hay covered in paint. Number 2. Patrick Serenades Kat just when she thought it was just a normal soccer practice, Kat is surprised to hear music playing, even more so to see its source. Suddenly, Patrick emerges, microphone in hand, singing Frankie Valli's 1967 single Can't Take My Eyes Off You. Can't take my eyes off of you. After realizing the embarrassment Kat felt when he didn't reciprocate the kiss she initiated after Bogey's party, Patrick sacrifices his own bad boy reputation by serenading Kat in the hopes of winning her back. His efforts are not to be overlooked, as he pays the band leader to help with his thoughtful performance and makes a spectacle of the guards trying to impede his moment. Very smooth, Verona. You definitely won our hearts. You're so... Charming. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Hello, Katarina. Make anyone cry today? Sadly, no. But it's only 4.30. Which one do you like better? I have a dick on my face, don't I? Number 1. Cat Reads the Poem After discovering the truth behind Patrick's motives, Cat storms out of the prom without looking back. With this being their last scene together... So, tell me about this dance. Was it hopping? We're still uncertain about the fate of their relationship. That is, until she courageously volunteers to read her poem. I will. We realize that Cat's fearlessness knows no bounds, as she vulnerably declares her true feelings for Patrick in front of him and her class. Her strong beginning slowly transitions into a much softer and emotional ending. I hate it when you make me laugh, even worse when you make me cry. Leaving us in tears as we watch Patrick sit at his desk, gazing at her in disbelief. Although Cat hated more than 10 things about him, we can't help but love her passionate hate for Patrick. I don't just that you can. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.